Okay, we're gonna do a review here uh, between uh, Rock River Two Stage. It's the uh, national match, not the varmint. Now I had one of these before, but uh, in this same gun. And it's always been in a 223. It's just been swapped between lowers because I've gradually upgraded uppers and lowers until I got to the Spikes Gen 2 billet, which I will never get rid of. But uh, this trigger is brand new. It has zero rounds on the gun. I mean, on the trigger. And, uh,. We're gonna show the, we'll show what it looks like against the Geisley G2S. So, I'll, I'll hold the trigger in, I'll let you hear the reset. <clears throat> Very positive. There's to the first to the second stage. Extremely, what do I want to call this? Extremely solid wall. Um, national match it was um, pretty heavy it truly was about four four and a half pounds as advertised <clears throat> this one however it feels like three three and a half pound it doesn't feel heavy at all Now, with that said, I did buy, but I have not used, um, if I can find it, oh, here it is, <clears throat> I, did I did buy, but I have not used a spare SSA um, enhanced spring kit from Geisley. I bought this to put in there, <clears throat> but I put the hammer spring, I put the legs up against my one index finger and I just kind of flexed it to see how tight it was. It was very, very light, so I went ahead and installed it with the factory rock uh, trigger and hammer spring. And to be honest with you, I am pretty impressed. Pretty satisfied. Satisfied is the word I'm looking for. Satisfied. The rock trigger I had before this, it lost its it lost its wall. Its wall was was wore out. It wasn't a solid wall. You just vaguely felt it before it would go off. And quite frankly, um, I just didn't feel comfortable with it in the gun. So, I wanted to get the Geisley because of, honestly, for two reasons. Um, to support uh, Pennsylvania manufacturing. And uh, because I wanted uh, S7 tool steel, um, I am a um, machinist and I trust the S7 to have a long, long service life. The positives about this trigger, the price obviously, 
And to be honest with you, uh, if you get this trigger and you get three, four years out of it, I got about four, five years out of mine, uh, you will have got your money's worth. And between installing this trigger and it wearing out, you should have a chance to find the um, G2S Geisley on sale. Um, I found uh, I found them for 130 on sale. I was going to get one. They sold out in three days. So I did have to pay the 160 plus 12 for the enhanced kit. Uh, one more time, we'll try this trigger. <clears throat> and now let's uh, switch over to the G2S. I just have to give me several seconds here to switch out vices. Try that out. As you might have uh, noticed, G2S is in an AR-10. Um, you can tell it's the Geisley from the G. So, this has the enhanced springs and the Geisley grease. Okay, the reset. Positive as well. The first stage is much, much shorter than the rock, as you can see. Much shorter. <coughs> and the pull. The... I want to say from the wall... This wall is, uh, this, uh, this break is like glass. It's, it's crisp. The break on the rock, the break on the rock I would call candy cane. I know that's a word that, uh, people like to use. This is like glass. It is just, it's there and it's broke. I mean, just, that's the only way. Very short. <laughs> now we'll try the reset again. Positive. Now, again, my main attraction to the Geisley was the uh, tool steel and um, supporting uh, Pennsylvania manufacturers. <laughs> <clears throat> if you were to buy the rock, um, you are not um, getting junk per se, but in my experience, your first stage, your wall, will wear out. And eventually, in my experience, you will end up with a single stage trigger. That's not saying everyone's like that, but that's just my experience. Um, let me try this for you one more time. Again, enhanced spring kit. <clears throat> the enhanced spring kit makes a world of difference. 
It truly does. If you get this version, my honest opinion is to get get it either already with the enhanced spring kit, which where I bought it, they didn't have the G2SE for enhanced. <laughs> I had the, I bought the two spring kits from Geisley themselves. Get it because this comes four and a half, four, four and a half pounds. It truly is extremely heavy pull. Do yourself a favor, get the enhanced spring kit. I prefer the spring kit, the enhanced spring kit. I prefer that over the JP. I had a JP, it was nice, it did everything it should you get almost the same feel as the Geisley uh, Enhanced Kit. With the benefit of the Geisley Enhanced Spring Kit, you will get the, a tube of Geisley Grease, Trigger Grease, which truly does a good job. Back here, got this thing locked back. <sighs> anyway, um, so that's uh, that's just like the best I could do to give you a general idea. Um, also, note. That yes, I am using a KNS um, anti rotational pin kit, which, to the best of my knowledge, uh, Geisley, at least several years ago, did not recommend. However, <laughs> however, on the KNS website, they offer a um, KNS pin kit with a Geisley trigger and this is the only pin kit that they were selling with the Geisley trigger so I'm assuming uh, this is mod 2 something I don't know offhand but I'm assuming that this KNS uh, anti-rotational pin kit I'm assuming KNS and Geisley got together and they made something that Geisley said would be okay I know I watched an older video where he says the anti-rotational pin kits, the pins, hammer and trigger are too soft. And that's why they recommend their um, trigger pins. And they do include um, an anti-walk uh, spring, two springs um, with their triggers. Um... I just prefer the KNS, so if I have any problems, I'll report back, but I doubt I will. <clears throat> People have been doing KNS and Geisley uh, triggers and KNS pins for a long time. We haven't, I've never heard of no problems, so one more time the G2S enhanced springs. Very short first stage. Very short second stage. Really nice break. Um, that's it for the review. Um, you can sort of make your decisions again. I don't see anything wrong whatsoever with the rock. Could I have saved 60 bucks and got two rocks? Yeah. I could have, but I just... I didn't want to have, I didn't want to risk possibly having both triggers be down sometime in the future because they wore out. I won't uh, upgrade that Geisley in the 223. I won't upgrade that until I, excuse me, I won't upgrade the rock trigger in the 223 lower until it either wears out or I see a G2S on sale again. 
until one of those two things happen, I think it's good to go. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So, very satisfied with the guys League too. <sighs> well, that's it for the review. Questions, comments, uh, put them in the description there. Subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll see what, uh, what else I can uh, bring to you guys. I am eventually going to have a part two to my LaRue and Primary Arms ACSS uh, scope. I um, got out and sighted it up and, well, started sighting it up. And uh, I'll get into that though in another video. So, I'll talk to you later.